Now, the mission of the Robinson Illinois Correctional Facility is to protect the public from criminal offenders. A little more than two months ago, that became a massive community effort. You'll remember that's when an inmate escaped from the minimum security prison. Since then, the Department of Corrections in Illinois reevaluated their system. Tonight, News 10's Jacqueline Beavis takes us behind bars to find out what's changed. It's a story that's new for you tonight at 6 o'clock, and it's one you'll only see on News 10. It's a dorm room for adults. In between these buildings is where most of these men spend years. They're accused criminals in the Robinson Correctional Center. We are a prison, and we deal with individuals sometimes aren't trustworthy. That certainly was the case in August. Police are looking for a prison escapee tonight. Jared Carter was working outside the prison walls, a privilege given to very few inmates. We have a very thorough review process with our criteria, with a lot of different individuals involved in it, looking at that individual. But something that day went wrong and Carter escaped from his crew. He was found four days later after a massive search of the community. Since then, the prison learned some very valuable lessons. It did allow us to re-examine and enhance. Uh, you can always take another look at things. When something like this happens, you have to make some positive improvements on, on what you've been doing. Inside these walls, it's much the same, but workers like these being outside the facility face a very different future. We've changed the the color of clothing, we've added the name and number. We have systems referred to as offender tracking, which tells us the history of the offender in our system. We also expanded that to include if the offender had been on parole, what kind of patterns they exhibited, as well as if they were in our juvenile tracking system. What we have to do is assure that we're doing an adequate job reviewing the individual, that they're meeting the criteria that we've put in place and that we're properly supervising to assure that this thing doesn't happen again. The changes may sound minor, but after 23 years, leaders say small changes will avoid this type of isolated problem, keeping more than just inmates and employees safe. But we, we just feel that we have a burden to, first of all, properly supervise and also to protect the community. In Robinson with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Jacqueline Beavis, News 10. Coming up tomorrow, we'll dig a little deeper into this case. After our visit, the local union leader wanted to share their side of the incident and security at the facility. Hear from him tomorrow night here on News 10.